everybody welcome to cab over monday and uh yeah we got the um, k100 again it's uh, twice uh, we've had it in this cab over monday but i saw this skin uh well, no sorry not skin paint job on a on a k100 and i was looking for uh, a skin i want to do for Rudus 362 and i i couldn't find the darn thing and um it's weird because i found it when i was looking for a skin for the uh Marmon, I, I should uh, actually get going. We'll talk about that on the way because uh, it's not real far, but it's real windy. And it's um, Sonora, California to Reno. And uh, the last part will go pretty quick, but over this mountain is quite a, quite a trip. And I haven't done this trip in a long time, probably about well over a year, because the recent uh versions that i've been getting of uh reforma don't have all this stuff in it like this um red bluff and this tour down here around let's see oh that might be in there oh this one here this is a really cool drive actually this part through here is epic and so that's been added again um we've got that site out there it looks like we've got the new road the uh all the changes in um nevada again we've got austin eureka we've got uh a pretty cool road here let's see we come down we go to cams yeah this road is pretty neat um of course all these new places we've got bishop lone pine more really neat roads here yosemite valley uh all kinds of stuff so we're gonna have to explore all this again and that uh, we haven't been on any of these roads in a video in a long time and one of my very first videos is this trip we're taking right now so let's uh oh new skin too we'll talk we'll talk about that too i've heard good things about you but I was told that you roll stop signs, speed occasionally, and get lost frequently. Let's see if we can do something about these bad habits. Maybe we can make a proper driver out of you yet. Just maybe. All right. There's always hoping. We've got uh, 43,500. 79 pounds of sugar on uh, Bart's Great Dane Reefer. Get ready to turn right. Turn right now. So, of course, this doesn't exist in the base map where we are. Hill here for a bit. Long gradual slope. I'm gonna try and time this light up here so we don't have to stop. Out what's going on here? Do I have the flashing light here? But we're not going very fast. It's red right now. Oh boy. Continue straight on. We won't beat those cars up here, but. Uh, uh, I didn't have to start from a standstill either. Oh, that was close. So we put the windows up now. I took the uh, spot mirrors off this because they, they bugged the heck out of me. And they're like, 
so octagonal or whatever you call it, like polygonal. So, yeah, sit back, enjoy this drive. Now we're catching these guys. Oh, there's that glare in the window again. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, when I, I did that, uh, <laughs> that Marmon skin... I was looking for pretty much something similar. You know, that was not the one I was looking for, but the one I was looking for, I didn't really like it. I guess my memory is faulty. I thought it was cooler than it was. And I saw that one, but at the same time, I saw this really nice skin, metal flake, orange and red, and awesome looking skin on a Pete 362. I mean, I'm telling you, it was cool. And... I was searching for custom Marmon cab over metal fly metal flake paint, I think. That's what I was searching. And that showed up as well. And I for the life of me, last night I must have spent oh good half an hour, forty five minutes looking for it. And I thought I'd look again today, Sunday, and I couldn't find it Sunday morning, so I said and then I came across this one. So let's see, I'll insert picture here <laughs> of the actual truck. Let's see how it compares to this one. But this is quite a drive up here. If you've never seen the earlier videos, See, this is what I was hoping California Rework was going to do, get in this area and do a proper... Oh, that guy's going to go on a solid line. And so is this guy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh, is he going to go? No, we are. Those um, early videos I did were pretty bad. Like, I didn't know what I was doing. I was still trying to figure out uh, OBS and rendering and the whole thing. So if you do happen to look back at one, my apologies. thing is they were with this good video card which is kind of embarrassing <laughs> I was making videos that poor in quality I've got all but one item at ultra right now and because this is so twisty I just left the uh, mirror distance at high instead of ultra because I mean what are we going to see behind us like it's on high right now and we can see because all the corners I don't think we're ever going to not be able to see or see it doesn't disappear what's back there. Oh, there's a big terrain gap right back there. Look at that guy right on that fellow's bumper. Boy, 
way we should have what we should have a go at it. Oh, you know what? I saw the volume, the uh, traffic turned down to 0 0.3 from convoy. And I did that in the last video too. The uh, called them all Sunday. I forgot to turn it back up. Probably a real good chance there's nobody coming. And it gets real windy here too. Darn it all. I should have taken a chance there. up here we're gonna be able to see th through the trees a little bit around this corner once we get out here let's try it yeah we're gonna just about see through there oh boy now we're in trouble this is where I meant to be you can see quite a bit further ahead here really nasty right-hander coming up here in a little bit. That looks like an improved pullover area from what used to be. I have to go back and watch one of the old videos, actually. I think sort of rest area there because you dropped a wheel in there to keep the trailer inside the line there. Offered us a rest opportunity. This is also a fun road with uh, Grimes Frosty Winter on. Everything looks really good in the snow. I think the nasty right is going to come up. Uh, I see it on the map now. A couple more corners. I don't think I've hauled too many just single 53s up here. It's usually some kind of monstrous big. There's the corner right here on the right coming up. Got a hill and a sharp little crest right in the middle of a sharp hairpin to the left up here. A lot of fun with the uh, triple low boy right here. You got it because I mean, usually got a heavy load on it. You got to keep some momentum up here. Uh oh, overcooked it. Wow. Wow, almost blew the whole thing up. Wow, that was really bad. I don't think I usually go into that fast. Oh, what a schmazzle. Oh, well, that's embarrassing. straight here we should be able to get around this guy Alberta heavy haul pretty soon we're gonna get to the uh, crest I think I haven't been into this little rest area up here. So, see it on the map there. Right up there to the left, I've never driven up there. We're just about to crest here at this next sightseeing place. Now, we're downhill, I'm gonna be jiggy with the Jake. <laughs>
quite a view. It's kind of hard to judge the speed and everything when you're out there. I'm going to back in here so we don't have too much trouble. Gonna leave the Jake on. Control it with the throttle. There's still grass in the middle of the road down here. Place for a chat. area. Oh, that sounds right up here where the grass was before. Remember, let's uh, jump in here. Oh, it could have been here. Remember, it was downhill before I left. But this looks all cleared up, too. Yeah, so I guess they've been back and took care of that. Well, that's cool. Man, I'm really happy to be back on this map, though. There's so many other good uh, drives in it. Down to uh, Sacramento should be interesting to see what they did there, because I have not since SCS did that first California update with Sacramento. I think that was the first one. I have not uh, had the pleasure of driving this road. I also really like what they did in Nevada. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that uh, road out of. Uh, Reno heading east. You don't get too far out. There's a left-hand turn that's just brutal. And on the way in, it's even sharper because it's a right-hand. And you're on a four-lane, so the westbound lanes, it's an even tighter. It's deadly. Oh, I should have passed this guy here. I don't think I have enough. Nope. I don't have a big enough head of steam. Oh, this is really great. We're going to be doing a bunch of driving here and show you guys all this good stuff. Oh, I'm pretty good over the mountain there with the traffic turned down. 
we were able to uh, pass a uh, few vehicles there and get ourselves into a clear zone. Get ready to turn left. Because quite often it's a uh, real pain. But I mean, if you're not in a hurry, they just drive the speed limit, it's fine. Turn left now. Yeah, so without the spot mirrors on here, I don't know what it'd be like with a triple on it, a triple low boy. But uh, there, you don't have that annoying looking mirror out the window. They're functional and they work really good, but I'm liking the look of it without them. so slow. Dude. Holy! 35 miles an hour? Come on. Let's jump out here and see if anything's coming. I wonder how he's starting to speed up. What was that about? Frames are locked on 60. This truck. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, make sure and record the uh, um, color code I use for this green because uh, I really like it. That passing lane. There he goes again. Got his, <laughs> his jet turbine engine fired up there for a minute. There we are, heading into Nevada. Not quite the inspection station. Yeah, I used to like uh, coming in from Tonopa too, and they've changed Tonopa and put a garage there uh, in this version, in Reforma. And Carson City is way different too than it is in SES World. liking this uh, paint job I kind of it's not exactly like the one in the uh, picture because I did that little step up and on the one in the photo I don't think it's metal flake in the darker color goes right over the roof but I didn't want to put metal flake on the roof because it, eh, it's like you know like, I'll be honest I'm faking metal flake I'm <laughs> kind of making it up and I don't think it looks too good on a brightly lit big flat surface so I don't want to have it on the on the roof oh, don't tell me all these guys gotta go down to one lane up here 
They'll be pretty brutal if they do. I wonder if they change that dirt road. Uh, so, sorry, hit <laughs> what dirt road you're saying? Uh, there was a dirt road up here. Well, over by Austin, that went north Keep to, to right, those um, and then turn right. The petrochemical plants. Uh, they're all remote up towards Winnemucca, and uh, right now. man, was that road rough. It's like they picked the worst road texture they could. I wonder if they change it to something more drivable. Well, that would be nice. Because if you come south from Winnemucca, there's a pretty neat dirt road. I never ever did manage to get in a video before uh, the um, mod was no longer available with the uh, California update. Fallon, yeah, you go that way. Pretty cool back there. We'll, we'll get back there in a video here sooner or later. Well, this is really great news. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's pretty hard to express how happy I am to see this map uh, restored. Because with the uh, last versions of the game that we've been getting, with the, the updates from SCS, like, oh boy, maybe for the last three or four versions, we have not had this. And... Uh, <laughs> If I'd been drinking coffee or drinking milk when I saw that, when I uh, looked on the map, I would have, well, it would have been wiping off my computer screen. Eighty here, oh boy. Hopefully, I did. Uh, do we get the speed limiter in here? Yeah. Probably gonna. If Exit I was. Exit right. Like I was heading on to Elko, I would. Probably stay in the left lane, but I think. This is gonna work. Oh, it ends. Okay. Faulty memory. Keep to the right. 
Keep to the left, and then turn left. Go to rail export. Turn left now. Oh, I... My splitter didn't click there. That's why I was lugging it. There we go. Get ready to turn right. Turn right now. Oh, Bart's trailer with the uh, lots of those little penny lights on it. Oops. Crikey. I'm relieved that we have Oops. arrived safely at our destination. Oh, I thought I had a Why bunch. don't you run in and see the shipper receiver oh, they, they while really... I regain my composure? Oh, it must be, you have to be dark oh, to see and them. try blowing your horn before you back up. All right, to a little standard parking spot. Gonna try and get in there in the shadows and see the uh, penny lights. I should try this trailer with some more aggressive lights. See what it's like. I, you know, bigger. Something that actually might even cast a little bit of light. Oh, I like that uh, shade of green. I'm off to one side, but oh well. Seventy miles. Oh, decent payday. <laughs> Imagine that, making that kind of money in real life, going three hundred seventy miles. Wow. Everybody'd have real fancy trucks like this. Well, that thing just floats my boat. Oh, oh yeah. Well, I'll show you real quick. Uh, I got two other color choices for it. So this is going to be a three skin pack. So where's that other one that's looking pretty good? This one? Nope. Here's the other. Uh... Oh, it's going to work on all cabs. But let's look at the red one or an orange one, whatever's next. We've got, so that's the green. We've got orange. And this kind of looks, it's not bad with the silver or gray looks pretty good. I don't think I, dark gray is kind of cool. And what else? Black. Got your Halloween thing going on. Oh, and the other thing I meant to point out, if you change this, the uh, visor, I didn't check the big painted visor actually yet. I will do that. Oh, there is no big painted one. Original visor too. Oh, that, oh, so that doesn't work out too good. I might have to figure that out because I made the stripe up there for this visor original visor and so it continues on under there and there's a stripe across the front up there that you couldn't see on the lighter paint job and it ties in with this oh shoot oh darn it that's going to delay because fiddly stuff like that takes a long time darn it all oh if i hadn't seen that i would have just went ahead and put the stupid thing out rats Okay, anyway, there's another uh, red. 
And the red one looks really good with this. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't tell you what looks good, but uh, the um, that's the default. When you go to a metallic color, that seems to be the default thing. And boy, it doesn't look bad like that. It's really a dark red, but I don't know. I kind of like that too. Anyway, so shoot. I've got to go find that other visor and see if I can fix it. <laughs> uh, I really wanted to have this skin out. By the time the video comes out, well, we'll see what we can do. Um, but yeah, that green, wow. I'll have to record what that is, that lime or that mint green, I guess. I just messed around with the sliders till I got it. But yeah, we got the painted shelf there ahead of the windshield as well. What a good looking truck for free. Free wheels, free truck. That's not to like. Sweet. All right, guys. Well, I'll leave it there. And as always, appreciate you following, uh, following along. If I made some progress on that visor, you'll see a link for the uh, skin in the video. And if it's not there, it means I haven't got there yet. But it should be out real soon. Because that's the only thing that is a mess right now is that uh, second visor. And that um, we'll get her done. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, take care, guys. Bye for now.